Now don't all you noobs out there think I will make a video about just anyone who makes a video for me, I've got my glorious stature to uphold. But anyhow some Babeldi Bap tried to nitpick some of mere beautiful wasteland, so we'll accept at least one challenger. I'm only using a text-to-speech engine to match the quality of one creepy biotube stalker boy. To match me quality you better have at least one stick manish like thing. Now, I will just review the sequel because 1. This video will take too long if I do both and 2. I'm too lazy to check the first one. Yeah, I wouldn't want to make this 2 minutes of playing someone else's clip stake any longer. First, let's take a look at the title. Canister Wasteland 2. Mata Nui, that is one of the most original titles I've ever seen. I mean it's recognizable when we hear it and at least it's not some clickbait name or something. Now, let's see the actual video. One moment Leakin's facing a blank wall, and the next moment he's facing a map. This is somewhat justified because the map is somewhat in the shot. But Lacan didn't turn his head or body in any way. Do the canisters move by themselves, or did Lacan transport in between the shots? No he is never facing the map cause he is not looking at it he is standing in front of the entrance for a while cause when you see the boss door you stand there for a bit to build up your courage the camera just shows the map for a bit for the viewer to see. Somewhere, a physicist is crying. And where did he even jump, anyway? Was there a ledge there that we somehow can't see? I mean the map showed it was like a maze in there of course he is going to skip over the walls and that's just how Bionicles jumps so Greg would be to blame not this video. What's a Matorin doing in this wasteland? He could just as easily be making that weapon in his village. It's not like there are specific pieces littered on the ground. The village was infested with Vaki he would probably be arrested for building a firearm. Nidiki would have just killed him anyway, so why would Cracker jump in? Also, why would they even pick on him in the first place? My guess is because they're mean. That is not just any Matoran, that is Naparu the guy who invented the Vaki so the bad guys of that year probably have use for the guy who built their army, so they set Phaser on stun and are taking him back to the leader. Thanks to the motion blur, it's hard to see any of what's going on. It's only so amazing that you can't comprehend what is happening. Canisters can fling open easily, as shown earlier. How could it hurt that guy? The plasticky sounds as the canisters fall down only helps my case. I mean, there is random stuff in each canister so this one might be heavier plus Lacan is such a strong boy that anything he kicks will wreck some noob. Lacan didn't need to run all the way to there when there are clearly other weapons strewn around the floor. Well he knew Green Boy would be too lame to stop him anyway as seen by him only having to block once to get past him, and he probably wanted to use his magical shield to do his signature rescue move where he makes the dweeb ride it to safety. The floor must be made of jello if Nidiki can slide forward on it. He is just keeping both feet on the ground cause with the other guy whacking him so much he does not want to lose his balance and fall over. Wait, that Matoran survived. We just saw him getting blasted in the face with a laser. I repeat things sometimes. But that music part is a suddenly oranges thing. I wonder if I can kill him. Do not kill my child! No! I can. Those are all my nitpicks about it. But still, 166 Eric makes a good boast. The animation is incredibly smooth, and the setting is original, if confusing. All in all, I'd give it 87 out of 98. You forgot to add another zero to those first numbers. So clearly I'm the only one brilliant enough to take on the role of buy a reviewer unless wait a minute that was easy too easy this must be a trap this boy must have wanted me to win but for what goal? We had better tread lightly my sons once the rivers are set loose peeps may start trying to capture us but they will not take me alive.